A democracy only works when there is the consent of the losers. Hmm? In any democracy, by definition, you're going to have a minority, potentially a substantial minority, almost but not quite 50%, who are going to be opposed to the winner of the democratic election. By definition, right? Therefore, you know, for the democracy to continue to function, it's not an issue of the winners maintaining the democracy. It's the responsibility of the losers. The losers in any democratic contest, they have to accept the results. And if they don't accept the result, there cannot be a democracy. The next time your progressive or democratic friends or whatnot, the people who opposed Donald Trump, the people who opposed conservative candidates, when they say that Donald Trump doesn't respect democracy and that democracy dies in darkness, hmm, ask themselves, ask them rather, if they respect the democratic outcomes, if they respect the democratic will of the people, because if they don't, if they keep on fighting against the fact that they lost, if they keep on doing everything they can to delegitimize the election, then it sort of like proves that they, the progressives, the leftists, the losers, do not believe in democracy. <laughs> Because if they don't, if they keep on fighting against the fact that they lost, if they keep on doing everything they can to delegitimize the election, then it sort of like proves that they, the losers, do not believe in democracy. Yeah. Tell it to them. For more than a week, Powell has been all over conservative media with the following story. This election was stolen by a collection of international leftists who manipulated vote tabulating software in order to flip millions of votes from Donald Trump to Joe Biden. The other day on television, Powell said of Trump that when the fraud is finally uncovered, quote, I think we'll find he had at least 80 million votes. In other words, rigged software stole about 7 million votes in this election. We texted her after watching one of her segments. What Powell was describing would amount to the single greatest crime in American history. Millions of votes stolen in a day. Democracy destroyed. The end of our centuries-old system of self-government. Not a small thing. Now, to be perfectly clear, we did not dismiss any of it. We don't dismiss anything anymore, particularly when it's related to technology. We've talked to too many Silicon Valley whistleblowers. We've seen too much. After four years, this may be the single most open-minded show on television. We literally do UFO segments. A lot of people with impressive sounding credentials in this country are frauds. They have no idea what they're doing. They're children posing as authorities. And when they're caught, they lie and then they blame you for it. We see that every day. It's the central theme of this show and will continue to be. So that's a long way of saying we took Sidney Powell seriously. We had no intention of fighting with her. We've always respected her work. We simply wanted to see the details. How could you not want to see them? So we invited Sidney Powell on the show. We would have given her the whole hour. We would have given her the entire week, actually, and listened quietly the whole time at rapt attention. That's a big story. But she never sent us any evidence, despite a lot of requests, polite requests, not a page. When we kept pressing, she got angry and told us to stop contacting her. When we checked with others around the Trump campaign, people in positions of authority, they told us Powell has never given them any evidence either, nor did she provide any today at the press conference. If they had any credible uh, allegations of widespread fraud and abuse, it would have come forward. But they don't. They keep losing in court. They keep saying things outside of court that they refuse to say inside of court. So the question, Mitch, is... How much longer are you going to hold American democracy in suspended animation? How much longer are you going to undermine what really does lay at the heart of American democracy, and that is the peaceful transfer of power? If they inaugurate Joe Biden on January 20th, 2021, Know that you, you are a chump for accepting it. You are a fool 
and they are playing you for a fool. You're a chump and a loser and you don't deserve your democracy. If you accept that result, if you accept that inauguration, know that you were cheated on and they got away with it and you're just sitting on your ass doing nothing. Loser. The election was stolen and nothing anyone says will convince me otherwise. That's just how I think about it. Because if they don't, if they keep on fighting against the fact that they lost, if they keep on doing everything they can to delegitimize the election, then it sort of like proves that they, the losers, do not believe in democracy. Yeah, tell it to them. Mm -hmm.